Entitled people who got themselves fired. Have you ever been fired? Maybe you're not an entitled person and you just made a mistake. Well, let me know if you've ever been fired. If you see, this plant is poking me and it hurts. It's very sharp. Could I move? Yes, but I'm lazy and I'm traveling right now. So this is what I got to work with, a white wall and a plant. Profanity-filled road rage rant through an ambulance PA system at a crowded intersection. <gasps> I had complaints coming in for well over a month. That'll do it. That'll do it. I get it. Sometimes road rage gets the best of us. Oh my God, what I would do to have witnessed that moment. I got fired for not wearing a hat while serving popcorn. Actually, on second thought, I'm sure I was fired for trying to explain to my boss why it isn't necessary for concession stand employees to wear a hat to complete their tasks and tried to start a revolution. <laughs> the truth comes out. Hat, maybe not. Hairnet, yes. Yeah, I think you should be wearing a hairnet. I don't want hair in my popcorn. <clears throat> Oh, I can't even think about it. Worked in a call center and whenever customers shouted at me, I would forward their call to an anger management helpline under the guise of forwarding them to another department who could deal with their call better. Why do I low-key feel like this is something I would do? Sassy and sarcastic and kind of genius. Yeah, no problem. I'm just gonna forward your call at first. And then the person on the other line getting transferred. Hello, this is an anger manager. <laughs> that should be a movie scene. In 2007, my manager at Radio Shack banned us from checking my space on the POS computers, which he didn't follow. So I changed my name on my space to my manager's name. So the launch page of my space said, welcome back, Steve, which almost got him fired, which got me fired. <laughs> All right, that is a lot, Mike. To think about how long ago 2007 was and MySpace and the fact that I had MySpace in 2007 just reminded me that I turned 30 a few days ago, which is slightly painful. And I'm not surprised you were fired. MySpace was lit. Anyone else want to bring back MySpace? I want MySpace to come back and MSN. Called in sick to attend a friend of a friend's birthday party. Turned out the friend of a friend was my Whew. What do you say? What do you do? Oh my God, my heart would fall out my butt. I'd just drink with them, be like, listen, I know I'm fired, so let's just get our drunk on. You know, give them a drink. I worked retail and we had an employee that would hide and take naps inside racks of clothes. Somehow that wasn't the reason we fired her. We fired her for stealing clothes and then wearing them to work. This is the worst employee ever. How? Like, are they just in a fetal position, hiding on the floor in there? Stealing the clothes and then wearing them. That's bold. I've never stolen from a job. That's a lie. When I worked at Tim Hortons, I definitely ate some Timbits. When I was the baker, 100%. I'd be making the Timbits and stuff and I would take like a chocolate glaze one, put some extra glaze and I'd put it on a plate and I would eat it. Don't do that, by the way, it's not right. But like also, at a retail job, we had a kid come in and punch in for the day, then go home, would come back at quitting time and punch out. So they walked in for their shift, swiped their card to punch in, left, enjoyed their entire day, then came back at the, like the clock out time, the end of their shift, and just clocked out. But no one was like, oh, where's Tommy? Like during the shift? People are pretty creative out here. Eight, stop poking me. Once had a guy call in sick to his restaurant slash bar shift right before his shift and then proceeded to show up pilk faced drunk for happy hour during the time he was supposed to be working. He was not a bright man. Well, he was drunk. Of course he's not a bright man, duh. Everything seems like a logical smart decision when we're drunk. And not just drunk, he was Shit faced. We all know what that means. Wasted. I wish I was wasted right now. I've always wondered what it'd be like to film a video drunk. I feel like I'd be so annoying because I'm annoying on like on a sober day. So me drunk? Yeah, no, I don't think you guys want to see that. I work at an art studio where we teach classes and sell pottery that our artists make for others to paint. I'm one of the artists and the manager. 
I started getting a funny feeling about one of my employees. She wasn't doing anything blatantly wrong, just seemed to work really slowly sometimes, request insignificant but kind of odd schedule changes, and have different break habits from the other staff. I started feeling like she was stealing, but this is a really small business, so I didn't have her on a camera or any way to really prove it until she accidentally sent me a video of herself painting pieces that I made from her home. Wow. I feel like that was just instant karma. Like that was the universe's way of saying, you are a small business, you can't catch her and you can't have evidence, so we're gonna give it to you. And it's just gonna land in your text message inbox. <laughs> in the early 2000s, oh my God, that was so long ago. I managed a coffee shop that required the customer's names to be put on the cup. One guy looked like he was doing it, but upon closer inspection on some cups, he was writing an I P address. Turns out he was running an illegal sports book out of the shop. He did quit before I had to technically fire him because he found out I knew. That should be one of those Netflix documentaries, honestly, or a movie. I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable, but because how crazy that is. It reminds me in the movies when like there's a coffee shop, but then when you go in the basement of the coffee shop, it's like people gambling. You know, that was a very random example. Anyways, these are some people who got themselves fired. Or maybe you guys know someone who's been fired if you haven't been fired yourself. I know one story. I used to work at Tim Hortons and at one of our locations, one of the employees went on Facebook and went on like, a, you know, Tim Hortons rant and basically bash some of the employee, whatever. And um, yes, obviously they saw and she was let go. So keep your thoughts to yourself. <laughs> I'm out of here, you guys. Stay classy out there. Stay sassy. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you're not getting fired unless you deserve it. Um, and be your own boss if you want. If you never want to be fired, create your own business and be your own boss. That's all the advice I have. See you next time. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose?